Welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. In the last episode, we climbed up the outer wall, returned Mr. Little to his home, and found out that there's a mushroom we need to find for Curly in order to restore her memory. And we didn't do all those things in quite that order, but I'm just talking off the top of my head. So we have to go all the way back down the outer wall, which is actually a lot easier than going up because we can just fall most of the way. You just need to be careful not to miss the last platform. Okay. And we're just going to keep going down, past the clock room, and I think, nope, not quite. There's Cosmo. okay. So we're going to go back through the egg corridor again, so I'll probably actually cut here again, but first, I'm a little light on health, and save, okay. So I'm going to cut through the egg corridor again really quickly here. And we're back at the Miminga Village again. And I actually got through the Egg Corridor a lot more easily that time. Didn't lose nearly as much health. Had a huge swarm of those bug guys following me. I, almost, I wanted to start recording then, but I figured I probably would have died if I tried. So we're gonna go back to the graveyard again. Which, if you'll remember, is through this door. And we can actually avoid most of the mushroom guys just by flying over them. Actually, we can avoid all of them by flying over them. And we're gonna go up into this door and talk to this guy. You got some business with me? Yes, I do. Hmm. <laughs> Amnesia. Oh, that's terrible. Do you want the mushroom badge? Yes, we want the mushroom badge. But you don't really need it, then. Yes, I do need it. Oh, I see, then. Wait. Um, may have messed that up. Yes, we want the mushroom badge. Wait, you really do want it? Yes. You really want it no matter what? Yes. Then you don't need it. No. Well, then I'll give it to you. Kind of a random pointless little puzzle there, but yeah. We got the mushroom badge. And now we can go see if that fixes Curly's amnesia. Wait, a mushroom badge obtained from Ma Pig... P Ping... Pignon? Pig... I have no idea how to pronounce that, but... It serves no purpose. What? Wait just a minute. What are you trying to pull? Ah, found me out. That's just a normal badge. Say what? You're going to eat me? I'm a very, very valuable mushroom, and the only one in this cave, too. Snap! Don't even think for one minute that I'll let you eat me without putting up a fight! It's on! Yes, we have to fight a little tiny mushroom guy. And why do I have Fireball equipped? He's not all that difficult to fight. You just need to watch out for the falling rocks when he slams into the sides. And then he makes a bunch of clones, which are all really weak, and can you can destroy them pretty easily. Holy crap! I'm taking w way too much damage. Come on. Oh, really? This again? Wow. I lost a fight against a mushroom. I don't even know what to say there. That should have been a relatively easy boss fight. And I just completely got owned. By a mushroom. A talking mushroom. Who is smaller than the ones in this cave, I think. Or he might be the same size, I don't know. The point is, he just kicked my ass. Yes, oh, we have to go through all this again. Yes, we want the mushroom badge. No, we do need it. You do want it. Yes. No, give it to us. Okay. We've already established that the mushroom badge is useless. What? Oh, you have to act to start the boss fight. You actually have to look at it in your inventory to find out that it's useless. So even if you already know it's useless, you have to check your inventory first. Okay. Yes, we found you out. That's just a normal badge. Yes, we're going to eat you. Well, we're not going to eat you. Curly is, but yes, we've established that you're putting up a fight. Okay. And oh, come on! Really, he's invincible when he charges. Um, yeah. 
The Spur might not be the best weapon to be using for this now that I think about it. But if we can keep hitting him with fully charged shots, it does do a lot of damage. Yikes. Okay, I think we got him this time. I really think we got him. Yes! Okay. I've lost! Obtain the Ma pig Pignon, Pignon, whatever, however the heck you pronounce that. So now that we got that, we can go back through the egg corridor again, back up the outer wall again, and back to the plantation. Actually, I think the teleporter is connected to the tra to the plantation, so I might not I might need to activate it in the plantation first though. So, we'll see if this teleporter will let me go to the plantation. Yeah, okay, it won't let me. So, I do have to go back through the egg corridor again. And in the interest of saving time, I'm going to cut here real quick. Alright, we're back at the storehouse for the plantation. I'm gonna save again. And we're gonna go talk to Curly. And Cthulhu. Down here. Who are you? Yes, we want to use the mushroom guy. Stuffed it into Curly's mouth. Bow chick bow wow. Okay, that's probably the worst thing I've ever said. Quote! Now I remember your name's Quote! You and I are, well, before a great number of us robots were sent to this island. We were sent by the countries of the surface. The purpose of the mission, it was the incredible slumbering power we found on this floating island. And it was also about the demon crown. But you and I were different. We were sent on a mission to destroy that power. The island, it was in a mess when we landed, ravaged by the robots. They murdered scores of poor little Mimiga. It was horrible. And finally, one man seized the demon crown. The robot's mission was complete, and the island felt totally silent. But that was simply the beginning of the tragedy. The man who was able to capture the crown turned Mimiga into beasts and they began attacking the surface. I faced him and tried my best to defeat him. You were with me then. That's all I can remember. The crown bearer was severely injured by both our attacks that time. How about you? Can you recall something? Anything? So there you have it. Major backstory reveal. The memory is back. Well, that's not very exciting. Yeah, screw you, Cthulhu. So, we've completed that little bit of side quest kind of ish stuff. And now we get to explore the plantation. And there's swarms of bats everywhere for some reason. They're annoying, but they're not too difficult to deal with. And you can kill pretty much everything in one shot with a fully charged spur shot. Because these uh, guys are kind of annoying. If you hurt them, they will retaliate and throw stuff at you. So they're... They're a little hard to deal with if you don't one-shot them. So we're gonna go into the rest area... Yo. Haven't we met somewhere before? It must have been in Mimika Village. That witch misery brought me here. I really dislike farming. I'm gonna go clear my head with some fishing for a little bit. Do you like to fish? If there's another chance, maybe I'll bump into you again. So if you talk to the Mimiga in the rest area, you'll see that they won't talk to you. Because they've been told not to talk to anyone who's not a Mimiga. And the way we're gonna get around that... is... a bit later on, actually. But we're gonna go up here... and... into the jail, apparently. I don't remember a lot from this late in the game, actually. Oh, you're a killer robot? You come to kill us? No! God, no! Why would I do that? Curly just said we were here to destroy the demon crowd, not the Mimiga. The destination is unknown. Do you still wish to teleport? Yes, we do. Oh, hey, look. This looks familiar. We're back at the shelter that Cosmo was trapped in. So from that, we can kind of, it's kind of implied that 
Kazuma escaped from the jail, used this teleporter, and got stuck in this shelter. At least that's what I get from it. So we're going to use that save point real quick and go back to the plantation. Because there's nothing to do in er, bushlands. I almost called it Grass Town again. And... I th don't think... Do you know a Sakamoto person? She should be hiding in the plantation somewhere. Yeah, I know exactly where she's hiding, but we need to find Sue first. Because... Well, you'll see. Oh, hey look, it's a life capsule. One of the last ones we can... I think this might actually be the last one we can get here. Before the final, final boss area. Yeah, that puts, us at, that puts us at 45. That is the maximum health we can have at this point in the game until after we beat the final boss. Ah. So... Yeah. Once we get into the final... into the level leading up to the final, final boss, we'll find two more... uh... life energy tank things. And that'll put us at a perfect 50 total max health. But that is way later on. And can I get up? Can I get up here, please? Thank you. This is jail number one. And we actually can't, I don't think, do anything in here. No. But there's Sue and the other guys from Mimiga Village. So we're in the right area. We just don't need to go through here yet. We need to go into this door. And we can't seem to get their attention for some reason. I'm a little mixed up on where exactly to go with this part. Sorry if I'm, if I'm if I seem to be running around pointlessly. But we haven't been down here yet. Or no wait, this isn't what I'm thinking. A little further down. Down here by the water. And we don't need to worry about drowning, but falling in the water is still a minor annoyance. And I remember now exactly where I'm supposed to be going. But first, we're going to talk to the fishing Mimiga. If that bug will leave us alone. Okay. Oh, it's you. I caught something strange. You can take it if you want. It's inside the bucket. It's inside the bucket. And we got the teleporter room key. We're going to need that in a minute. And we can stand on those fish when they're not shooting. I just now figured that out, apparently. The teleporter room key. And look! The teleporter. Let's see where it goes. Yes, we want to teleport to Arthur's house. I found you, killer robot! Blech. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. Hey! Hey, you! Are you dead or something? That was the item get sound, if you didn't hear that. But we're going to save. And... Check my time real quick. 7, 7, 12... Yeah, this is probably a good place to stop for now, actually. We're stuck in jail. How will we escape from this horrible, hopeless situation? We will find out in the next part of this Let's Play. I will see you then.